Hello everyone. This video is going to hopefully answer a long standing question that I've had ever since uh, well, ever since things changed with I think it was Alpha 13 and 14. So, that question that I was wondering about and I'm sure other people have been is whether or not scrapping items gives the same amount of uh, resources in the forge versus their non or sorry versus their raw forms so let me just put my junk away here I was doing some upgrades on the base that'll be in the next video and then after that I'm gonna work on uh, the condensed point of interest okay so what I'm going to do first is like that so this I'll start with brass ah, what am I doing So I'm going to go like this. And that third one is in case I decide to do iron items as well. Uh, so first we're going to do a control. I think every single item, uh, like scrapped, whether it's brass, lead, or iron, I believe all of them give you five so let's go like this for the control. Oh, I forgot the... There it is. So yeah, they each give you five for the scrapped variants. So, that'll make it easy for us to determine how much... How much... Uh, resources the scrapped version will give us so that one was the trophy scrap that this is the radiator apparently that one's going to take a while there we go Wow, the candlestick gives four. Okay, so these are our numbers. So this one will give five when scrapped. That's 20, five, and 35. So what we can do now is make sure I have the same order. So we got the trophy, candlestick, doorknob, and radiator. Oh yeah, and the casino tokens, but I highly doubt many people are going to be, whoops, are going to be uh, scrapping those anymore after the Alpha 15, because it seems like they will have a use. Whoops, I gotta stop doing that. So, so far, it looks to me like you actually do get more resources by melting it in the forge instead of scrapping it. So let's take a look at these right here. Whoops. Okay, so the first one The first one was the trophy, which scrapped into one brass, that would only give us five, versus the raw form would give us ten. So it gives us double for that one. The candlestick smelts for thirty brass in the forge as raw, and will only give us twenty 
uh, if we were to scrap it and then smelt it after. And brass doorknobs would only give us one, but it smelts for 10 in the raw format. And the radiator gives us 50 as raw and 35 as scrapped. So in fact, it is actually much better to keep them in their raw format. Uh, in fact, it's almost double for all of them, the only ones being this one and this one. So that's kind of interesting. I mean, if you really desperately need space, I would honestly suggest scrapping them. That's what I've always done. However, if uh, like in a no loot respawn world, you're probably you want to keep these in their raw form okay so our next ones here we will go like this I'll scrap this one seems to be taking forever oh it went up here <laughs> whoops uh, yeah let's change that okay there we go and let's grab this one here, which gives us one lead. Do it the right way. <laughs> so lead gives us the same amount so far. But the trophy gives us more. So the fishing weight gives the exact same amount. I'll just put these as side-by-side -side comparisons. So the fishing lead weight gives us 5 if we smelt it raw or in the scrapped version. So that one you can go ahead and scrap. However, the lead trophy will give us double than the scrapped version. However, you're going to find a lot more lead in your world than you would of brass, as brass can only be found in this format here. Whereas lead can be found in here. I thought that was lead, but apparently it wasn't. <laughs> I'm sure you'd know what I mean though. So I figured I'd do this quick little test here to show the different variances versus scrapped and non-scrapped materials. Um, I figured I'd leave iron alone. I was going to do it, but honestly, you find enough. And if you really, really want to see it, then just let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can get together. So that's pretty much it for this video here. Um, if you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button. If you have any comments, suggestions, or you just want to say whatever, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials. Looks like I've got company. <laughs> so anyways, thank you for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye.